you can now import an entire website let's say yeah um, so you can now import the entire website and template in an app just drag and drop so this is what we're going to do for this one and I'm going to do it like sort of my site which is this one here and this is uh, what I'm going to do here though because I haven't got it offline I do but it's not uh, it's on an external drive so I'm going to use a web copy and, and I've actually mentioned this before and this is uh, you can buy uh, web copy software and things like that but this one's called Sciotech web copy and it's uh, there's on Sciotech they've got uh, GIF animators and stuff like that it's uh, it, it's just a I, th I don't know if it's just one person but um, he's uh, he does a few few different things he's called Richard someone or other anyway so I'll do um, just do my site right so just copy and paste oh so that's bootstrap studio just go into that paste Once the copy is to the designated folder, all you have to do is find it. And we'll just put Bootstrap Studio up there. And so this one here is where the folder is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop. So in this, I don't know what's going to happen, but just put a drag and drop in a files and many many folders and so yeah so that's uh, an HTML um, an HTML was imported assets imported so what do we have well we've got a lot of stuff and what we've got to remember on this particular website on here it's in PHP so it's not going to work perfectly and i know it isn't and it's in foundation as well so anyway we just have to look around but the idea is good first impressions of this is pretty good because once over when you used to put a um you know a website into bootstrap studio from somewhere else it was an absolute state so if i just do a preview now and see what it looks like yeah so this is this is not bad it's got quite a lot of stuff in the right place but the form and everything like that's php but the css is uh, sort of that out um for the styles and stuff so yeah it's not bad this here, of course, is uh, not that difficult to sort out, but I might do that in another video. So, first impressions, not bad at all. A lot of that can be cleaned up very quickly. And, uh, yeah, so um, I just thought uh, that would be an interesting video just to show that uh, about the a few new changes that's gone on in Bootstrap, Bootstrap Studio over the last month or two. Um, as I said... One of them only on the 27th of March, so it's the 3rd of April when I'm doing this. So it's, uh, yeah, so things are looking quite good that way. So thanks for watching.